Hi. <laughs> Emily is in front of the camera this week. I am. How exciting. How exciting. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> Real person. Real person. Producing and co-hosting at the same time. You're just so talented. I know. It's hard to actually hear this. Oh. Um, <laughs> it's hard <laughs> listening to yourself. Yeah, I'm listening to myself, so I'm going to take it out. So hopefully the sound doesn't cut out, and hopefully it sounds great. Um, if, uh, if you can't hear us, Scott Thompson, let us know <laughs> <Yeah>. below. <laughs> Comment below. This is the yeah. end. Yay. All right, we're kicking things off this week with everyone's favorite topic this time of year, Black Friday Ooh. and holiday shopping. Tis the season. Tis the season. Um, so obviously, I feel like every year stores keep bumping their sales up more and more and more. So yeah. Walmart announced that in stores, it was going to be doing um, sales starting at 6 p.m. on Thanksgiving Day. And then online, they were going to start rolling out Black Friday deals at 10 p.m. the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. So it's like... Aggressive. Fine. But like... <laughs> yeah, a lot. I mean, everything is online. Everything. I mean, I just feel like... Black Friday isn't even a thing anymore. It's kind of just right. like every day is Black Friday. There's deals right. on the internet every day. Like, And I just don't understand why you want to wait in line and camp out in the cold no. to go to Walmart at no. 6 p.m. on Thanksgiving when you could be like enjoying some wine right. with your family, watching some football. I don't know. It's so much better. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you can weigh in and let us know if we're wrong, but I just don't know if the deals in person at least are worth it. Nah. I don't know. It's got to be like 100% off. Right. I need to steal it or it needs to be yeah. free for it to be worth me. Free ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Fran Liberty, we're moving oh. on. Um so once again, back as our Fran Liberty is Nigel Travis, who is Oh again, still pumping out those now with I Nigel know. videos. So this is the third one. The fourth one is gonna be going live next week and then you can not listen to me talk about it anymore. But it's a really great interview, and he was super cool and super nice, and he knows nice. so much. Yeah. Um, so this week's video, he's talking about his experience with Blockbuster. Mm -hmm. And so when he left the company, it was like their highest revenue year, but he said the one thing, obviously, that they didn't do that he wished they had done was acquire Netflix. So they had the opportunity yeah. to purchase it. They mm -hmm. thought it was more of a regional player, which like, LOL, mm -hmm. but... Uh, when I was <laughs> editing the video, that broke my heart I to know. hear him talk about <laughs> how they could have bought Netflix for like a deal. Right. And now it's worth the billions of dollars. It's just heartbreaking. It's but, rough. You know, it happens. It happens. Move yeah. on. Do other things. R.I.P. Blockbuster. Yeah, R.I.P. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> there's like apparently one still left in the country. Is there really? Yeah. I'm surprised mm -hmm. there's one even one Blockbuster. Going. Yeah. Going. I hope it makes a killing though. Like I hope that one is like a nostalgia. I'm not sure, like, but it's, it is. It's you know? a place like I watched a video where a guy goes and visits it and he's like, oh, it still smells the same. And like people visit it, like they, cro they go across the country to visit it. Hopefully it's still open. I'm not yeah, lying. Maybe they are. Uh, they might knows. not be good at turning a profit, but one day what's yeah. old will be new again and Blockbuster will be the hit <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, fresh money. Um, so there is money to be made, um, fresh money, I guess, in the travel segment of the franchising industry. Um, so as you know by now, our list issue is currently going on on 1851's main site. So we rounded up um, 10 brands that are in the travel segment, you know, from hotels to travel um, agents, anything like that, um, that have over 50 units that are making waves. So check it out. Cool. I, I have. <laughs> Emily's like, obviously. I have. <laughs> All right. Um, so, Frant of the Week. So, Nick's Frant this week. Oh, man. I know. He's not here to. He's not here to. It's like my interpretation of his Frant. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, basically, he's talking about that franchise development is often only looked at, especially from people, you know, that are doing the sales side of things in terms of, you know, like, I spent X on marketing and this is what that led me and now I have a lead. But in reality, Nick actually took a lead that he pulled directly from a franchisor that was like, I've been to your store 20 times, loved it. Like, I think mm. that this would be a good investment. So Frandev isn't just, you know, lead comes through, they hit the inquiry form. Mm -hmm. It's it's taking a long time. People are going to be familiar with your brand coming in. You need to start looking at it as a more holistic process. Yeah. yeah. Check it out. It's good for Ant. Hopefully, Nick, you tell me if I butchered that, but I think I did all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, franching forward. Okay. So this one I liked because there's this new study out that says that six second videos and like short form videos Ooh. are really effective. Uh -huh. So it's like Vine. Yeah. If you what? can figure out how to make this just for, for ads, 
you can come back. <laughs> Dude, RIP Vine. I mean, okay, I liked Vine, but there are some hardcore people who loved, loved Vine. I know. And it was on some, it was on to something. I mean, people really don't watch, like, how often do you just like skip ahead in a video or just like right. completely only watch like three seconds exactly. of it and just keep keep scrolling? Right. I mean, Vine is maybe a necessity. I know. It's like it's the <laughs> attention span that millennials have now is six seconds. I say this as a millennial myself. If I'm not interested at first, I'm moving on. Yeah, yeah. So it's, I mean, there's, let's see, there were mobile video advertising this year has increased by 145%. So it's $4.2 billion. Damn. And if six seconds, if you guys can figure that out, man, you're going to have a lot of fresh oh, money. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Fran Funny. All right, so this one doesn't have a punchline because I figured that you'd take a look at it this week since I was Actually, I you. didn't, but. This one is more of just like a, a punny statement that I felt like applied to me personally. Okay. As well. All right. My family told me to stop telling Thanksgiving jokes, but I told them I couldn't quit cold turkey. Ooh, <laughs> that is a funny one. I like that. That's so, like, a good one. People out there that watch this probably want me to stop with these, but I'm, I'm not going to. I like them. So. Thanks. It's all, like, all the validation I need. <laughs> All right, for inspiration, so this again is coming from Carrie Luxem, who is the CEO of Restaurant HR Group, who also has a weekly mm -hmm. column or frant, if you will. Nick isn't the only one that has one on 1851. Um, so on the topic of talking to underperforming employees, she had to say the only way to bring about real and long-lasting improvement is to be helpful, is to be honest, and is to be human in these conversations. Ooh. I like that. Well, positivity goes yeah. a long way, guys. Tis the season of being nice. <laughs> wisdom Wednesday. <laughs> nice. Hashtag Wisdom Wednesday. Oh, man, I thought it was Thursday. That's a bummer. All oh. right. Moving on. <laughs> All right. So this one, if you're stumped on where to throw a holiday party, Taco Bell has this new mm. program where you can make a reservation for $25 and you can throw a party at Taco Bell. Okay, $25. At first, when you said $25, I was like, eh, but then it's like, to, do you get do you rent out the entire Taco Bell? I think it's just like there's a party room at select locations, ah. but that doesn't include food. So like the I food mean, is separate, but like how much can you really spend at Taco Bell are on food? Do but that. like oh I know for sure. Yeah. <laughs> like that kind of. What about the ones that have like booze at them, like the Taco Bell cantinas? Oh guys, because then we it's should a, have a holiday party, party at Taco yeah. Bell. <laughs> Carry Cancel the plans. Taco Bell. Cancel the plans. <laughs> guys. We're on to something here <laughs> for us. This is already for a thing that's least, happening. Yeah. Taco Bell's already on to something. But if you have a party at Taco Bell, please let me know because I want to know how that goes. Yeah, I'm interested to see. I'm sure it'll be all over social media. For sure. Yeah. All right, that's it. That's all we got. Catch you on the flip. <laughs> Maybe the flip side of the camera. <laughs> I'm out. Bye. Dad jokes. <laughs>